number of simultaneous communication that is allowed between these two devices will depend on your port license. It's called uh, IVR port. Okay. Now that is of course depending on how much uh, bundle you buy. Depending, on, by default, I think it comes in about 60 IVR port as a demo license. You can use that for uh, your testing purposes, which is far more than enough. Okay. Now, the simultaneous communication will depend on how many ports you create. And this port in contact center is known as call control group. This port in contact center is known as call control group. And each one of these call control group must have a unique DN. So when you log in to contact center, you're going to tell this guy that go create three ports, or five ports, or ten ports. So when you instruct the contact center to do that, what the contact center is really doing is logging into call manager and creating these three ports for you. Now those three ports in call manager is known as CTI ports. So there's a different naming convention. Those, we call it a communication port. The communication port between the contact center and the call manager are named differently. In contact center, they're known as call control group. And in, in call manager, so in contact center, they're known as call, uh, call control group. And in call manager, they're known as CTI port. So what is the CTI port? <coughs> Computer telephony integration port. But what is it? It's basically logical channel. CTI ports are logical channel. They're nothing but a logical channel. It provides a communication channel. Okay. Uh, if you, if you ever look at a Cisco IP phone, uh, the soft phone that they used to have earlier version, like back in uh, 2004 or whatever, they used to have a soft phone that looked not like a communicator, before the IP communicator came out. They used to have a soft, it's called Cisco soft phone. That phone, when it's registered, you have to use CTI ports to register with. So every single line that you want to configure, you got to configure one CTI ports for it. Okay? Now, Today, you notice that every Cisco IP phone that, is, that you need to register, they will use a licensing mechanism called DLU. You can, if you do not have a DLU, you cannot register a phone. Agree? If you don't have a the device unit license, you cannot register a phone. So this guy in China, he came up, uh, CTI ports and CTI log phone do not need license. No DLU is required. So he designed a phone that works on CTI ports. And he was able to register 5,000 phones to call manager without paying Cisco a dime. <laughs> the phone did not look exactly like this, but the phone looks pretty nice. And he was able to register that phone to call manager on CTI ports without paying any DLU. Okay? 